Welcome back, fellow travelers. I want to talk to you today about the self-service experience that I had with Air New Zealand and what I thought about it. So let's jump right in. So self-service, as we all know, is pretty mainstay for airlines these days. You go to the kiosk when you get into the airport, check in through the kiosk, print out your bag tags, tag your bags, go to the drop-off point, drop off your bags, and you're on your way to security. In New Zealand, it, uh, it was a bit different. So we did all that. The interesting part though is that there were no ticket counters. So if I wanted to go see an agent to talk about changing reservation, I had to go to the actual proper ticket counter, not a check-in counter. And it's not always meant. I had to wait there for a bit. I was looking at changing my flight. Sure enough, I wasn't able to because by the time a agent showed up, I had missed that flight that I wanted to get on. So I went back to the kiosk and he was not allowed checking me in even though I was right there. Sent me back to the kiosk, got that, printed out a bag tag. On my way, I went. Then I went to the gate, sat around for a bit. Me and my buddy Jeremy, we started talking. Then we get called on the PA that everybody on this flight can go to the boarding area. So we go to the boarding area and people are like, you know, slowly funneling through. And then we get to the aircraft. And I'm like, wait a minute, like, we missed something. We got to go back. And there's an agent standing next to the door. She's like, no, no, you're okay. I'm like, yeah, but I didn't, I didn't go through a gate agent. She goes, no, that's fine. You don't, you don't go through gate agents. It's like, what? And that's not to say we also did not pass a security checkpoint, which is, is mind boggling. Obviously this is for domestic travel, international travel. It was still a different beast where you still had to go through all the normal steps you would normally do to get onto an international flight or any other flight anywhere else in the rest of the world. It was interesting because I guess because they're so secluded that they can take those, they're willing to take those risks on their domestic routes. For me, it was a bit weird, but definitely convenient. It was, it was interesting to see. I guess that's the way it used to be back in the day, right? <laughs> I definitely found it interesting. I wasn't uneasy during the whole process. I mean, if anything, it was, it was a breeze, but I could never imagine it being implemented anywhere else in the world, nor would I want to. I think there's too many variables that can happen. There's too many people that travel. It's cool that New Zealand and Air New Zealand, by extension, are willing to take that risk. I wouldn't if I was running the company, but it was it was definitely interesting. So if you're going to New Zealand and you're traveling domestically on Air New Zealand, let me know what you think of that, that whole process. I would love to know. I, it was definitely a surprise for me. I wasn't expecting it. Let me know in the comments. In the meantime, you can check out another one of my videos right over here and you can subscribe right here. It lets you know when we upload new content, so you don't want to miss that. Uh, it also helps the channel out and it's greatly appreciated. I'd like to thank you for making me a part of your day and until next time, safe travels.